Bhagavad Gita, text 2.12 Never was there a time when I did not exist, nor you, nor all these kings, nor shall any of us cease to exist in the future. Here, Krishna implies that there are two types of souls, God himself and the living beings, such as Arjuna and the other kings assembled. Krishna informs us that the soul's individuality exists in all three phases of time, past, present and future, as well as in the liberated status beyond the influence of time. Employing the technique of Nyaya, Krishna says that the self is not a product of time. It has no brak above or non-existence prior to its manifestation. Conversely, Krishna declares that the soul is not subject to the non-existence brought about by destruction. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada comments that the individuality stressed in this verse is not relative to material embodiment. Previous to this verse, Krishna told Arjuna about the shortcomings of embodied material life, whereas in this verse he begins his discourse on the soul. Furthermore, were Krishna merely speaking about an apparent individuality resulting from material embodiment, he would not have mentioned himself along with Arjuna and the other assembled kings. Here, Krishna affirms his own individuality and he is not a material conditioned soul. Thus, in his opening words regarding the soul, Krishna begins to lay the foundation for eternal devotion, for the eternal individuality of the self and God is required for reciprocal dealings in loving devotional union. Arjuna might question how it is that the self can be different from the body when experience appears to indicate that when the body dies, so too does the soul. Krishna addresses this misperception with the following example from our common experience. <laughs> 